He was like, bro, Trump, this Trump guy is boring as fuck. Can you lighten up my night? All right. One thing that I don't like covering is bad things happening to me. But one thing I love covering is bad things happening to other people. But then I hate it again when somebody who is innocent is involved. And that's one of those situations. But no matter what, it is very important to talk about because this is something that highlights a massive issue within our political opponents, the right, conservatives, Republicans. That's something that keeps happening over and over and over again. And we cannot sit here and pretend like they are not a massive issue in the way in, in which they conduct themselves around other human beings, especially young ones. So yes, it's one of those stories again with one of the most prominent far-right figures on the right connected to many of the well-known conservative faces that you'll know and will prove it. His name is Ali Alexander. And a couple of days ago, Ali Alexander put his uh, Twitter account on private stopped doing shows and disappeared because of a horrible allegation that came out about him. But before we do that, I want you like I would like you to know a little bit about him. Ali's been around for a long time. He was one of the progenitors of the Stop the Steal rally that wanted to stop the certification of the election results that made Donald Trump not president anymore. He got a lot of money for that, but we'll talk about that in a moment. He got many connections with many other right-wing and far-right figures in the space. And he obviously was doing work in 2022. It didn't go that well. And uh, here's a little snippet of how that went and his reaction to it. Even if Kerry was going to lose, I would will it into existence. And I know that sounds kooky. And I know that sounds crazy. But... Just don't catch me on a wild day. Pete Davidson one time. Nice one. Don't catch me on a wild day. What does that mean, brother? What, what does that mean? Don't catch me on a wild day, huh? I wonder what he could possibly be insinuating. By, I will just make it happen. If, if the people who I want to win lose, I'll just simply make it happen. Because they won and they did not lose. Because I win and you lose. <laughs> Instead, obviously that didn't go that well. Quite some foreshadowing. Quite some foreshadowing. Well, this is actually after 2020. So, this is, um, this is him being like, oh yeah, we're gonna like take out politicians in... In like the 2022, we're gonna, he's like, he thinks he's gonna be sitting up on the grassy knoll <laughs> when, when like the, the new governor rolls by. But that never happened. What did happen is that his career is now over because what happened a couple days ago, as of this recording, is that an article was dropped and the article was titled Stop the Steel Organizer Apologizes After Being Accused of Asking Teen Boys. Or, you know, eggplant pictures, some revealing photographs, some sussy images. It has come to light that this is a huge issue. Now, let's read a little bit. A key figure in the pro-Trump Stop the Steal campaign has apologized after being accused of asking teen, po teen boys for sexual pictures. Guys, <laughs> I've made a severe and repeated lack of judgment <laughs> God, you think um you think when he comes back he's gonna be doing one of those uh youtuber i'm sorry videos like him sitting in his room on like a like on like a near the ottoman he's got his dog with him takes a deep breath he's crying you can tell he's crying his eyes are red how sad ali alexander has become one of the most ubiquitous figures in the maga movement trump himself a reportedly requested that Ali Alexander speak at his rally before the riot, with his appearance only quashed by a last-minute intervention by Trump's uh, aides. But this week, Alexander stands at the center of a scandal that raises questions about how powerful men in the far right are treating their young, your, their younger acolytes. Sorry, guys, for being a PDF file. It was horrible. I mean, he did absolutely know Trump. He knew Trump a lot. This is them pictured together once again. So what is this? This is the uh, this, this is the second. <laughs> this is the second 
a child abuser that Trump has been uh, uh, photographed with and also know as like a friend or like uh, looks up to as like a, somebody that he likes and spends a lot of time with is the second one after Epstein. Listen, I know like being friends with I know like uh, when it comes to like after Epstein died, be, you know, it, 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 it's really hard to follow up that act as being like Trump's like go to pedophile friend. But I mean, like he tried. He tried his best, I guess. I'm not on the same level, thankfully. Other people that he knew was, uh, you know him, you hate him, Jack Prosbiak. Our good friend Prosbiak photoed here with the very curious symbol as well. Um, little, little sussy symbol boy going on here, but they're good friends. They love each other. They love each other. They know a lot about each other, I would imagine. Uh, another picture of him uh, having a grand old time with, uh, who was that? Alex Jones and Nicholas J. Fuentes. <laughs> My boy gets around, does he not? My boy absolutely gets around. That, that is wild how that works out. As well as him calling into the show with uh, Mike Cernovich. So he absolutely really knows people. He, he gets around. He gets around a lot, it seems. He knows a lot of people. And apparently with all that time that he had to get to know a lot of people, he also got to know a lot of kids and he decided that it would be a great opportunity to not let that uh, opportunity slide all under the noses or as we'll see maybe not so much under the noses of a lot of the rights and far rights prominent figures as he knew them let's read some more this is too gay alexander said in a statement issued friday night that addressed the allegations in broad terms <laughs> Alexander, who described himself as bisexual in the past, added that he was battling with same-sex attraction. The uh, budding online scandal has also roiled the pro-Trump and white supremacist America First movement just months after it reached new levels of notoriety as its leader, Fuentes, dined with Donald Trump and Kanye West in Mar-a-Lago. Fuentes is facing backlash for his own support and whether uh, his own uh, from his own supporters over whether he ignored warnings that Alexander, his friend and ally, was allegedly soliciting nudes from younger men within Fuentes's own movement. Curious guys. Yo, was um was Alexander a part of the Saucy Squad? Remember when we uh looked into the the details of like the in inner workings and machinations of the of a uh, Fuentes's uh, America First movement. And and he it, it was said he has a group of people he likes to call the sussy squad. Do you think that they were like a part of it? But he was a part of it. It's definitely possible. Grapers more like groomers. Got him. Oh, man, they'll never get out of jail after this one. At least I hope. I'm looking for his like apology because or, or like statement that he that he made out. I'm, I'm looking for the statement that he made and I can't find it i think he just i think he simply just deleted it well i think it went it went down with his account possibly that's unfortunate i want to read a little bit more of it anyways can't find it i think it may be gone for the time being at least until unless somebody has a screenshot of it um bro this is not battling i'm sorry being a pedophile does not mean you're battling same-sex attraction you're battling and losing to your pedophilia <laughs> pedophilia I'm sorry, bro. Don't you try and sit here and like drag down people who have like some same sex attraction with you. Nah, bro. This isn't being a little same sex attracted. This is you being a predator. Much different, much different movement. I know much, much different thing. On Friday night, Alexander, who was questioned by the House January 6th committee about his role in organizing a canceled rally dubbed wild protest outside the Capitol, uh, which uh, drew crowds to buildings before the riot. You should a statement uh, offering a general apology. I sorry. I'm uh, sorry for uh, I apologize for any inappropriate messages I sent over the years. When I flirted or others have flirted with me, I have flexed my credentials or dropped corny pickup lines. Other times I've been careless and should have uh, qualified those coming up to me as identities uh, during flirt flirtatious banter at the start. 
Alexander didn't respond to requests for comment from the Daily Beast, but in a statement, he claimed that he is being targeted by false accusations and edited screenshots of messages, but declined opportunities to point out which accusers' screenshots are not legitimate. So, ah, uh, just like fun, fun little banter, just a little uh, goofball. He's just a he's just a goofy boy. He's just a curious lad. You know, that's that that's all he really is. He's just a he's just he's just a wacky, wacky jokester, wacky boy. Let's take a look at some of the screenshots. Let's dive in. Ali Akbar. He sent a video about Milo's gay parody of parody of Paris by Chainsmokers by Rucka Rucka Ali. When did that come out? What? What? When, when in the world did that come out? Sometimes it blows my mind remembering how absolutely prolific Milo Yiannopoulos's uh, clout was because that is just remarkable and I don't like it. Anyways, there was this picture and I, I don't really want to know what that was. But anyways, me, you're welcome. Oh, that's a picture of him. This is the picture of the boy. This is from, this is from the boy's phone, okay? Just so you know, this is a picture of, uh, of the boy that apparently was sent. Hearts. Do you use cash? Do you use Cash App or Venmo? The only discrete ordering method I have is Wish App. I can order anything on that. I'm gonna come uh, to Colorado on the 17th and 19th if you're game. So this is them, him not only paying for pictures from a young boy, but also planning to meet up with him. Better. Yeah, hopefully Milo comes back to Colorado. I, I think that means Colorado. Uh, I missed it last time. Doing Cali September uh, 24th to 27th, Berkeley Free Speech Week. Oh, yeah, I can. I bet I can fly out to that one. Are you going? Yes, sir. Probably speaking uh, there for a couple days. Heck yeah. Hope to see you there. That should be a blast. You should, you should be in my entourage. Haha. -ha. All right, down for that. And then he posts like a drink, like a cocktail. And then. If you if you're wondering how bad this actually gets, quite. I'm 15, by the way. Uh, I'm in 10th grade. I think I'm a five out of 10. So the finally, so uh, so I think I'm 5'10 now. So finally, taller than Tom Cruise. Haha, -ha, cool is his response to learning that the person who he is now flirting with is 15 and in 10th grade. So. If you were wondering if it were, if it was one of those situations where oh he just didn't know who he was like talking to but then he found out like their age like too late or something or like they never found out the age or something along those lines no no he knew and it seems pretty early in the conversation as well at least relatively early in the conversation as well when they were like planning to meet up and he was planning to literally have him like be a part of his entourage his like whatever hang around and then like so he can like possibly groom him or maybe he's been grooming him this entire time and then like uh assault him seemed like it thought you were older now i def can't take you to milo's event haha -ha. <laughs> good fucker <laughs> no i want to go to the speech i know i couldn't i couldn't have gone to book lunch sorry to the book launch too young unfortunately all things are possible for those who are connected what is that supposed to mean true if there's a will, there's a way. Amen. Anything you want in this life, it's yours. If you work for it, I believe that. Why do I want you on my side? You said something. I'm not sure what they said here, but one, everything is secret and private. We're family. Unless it's public. Public is a stage. Two, boundaries are cool. Allowed to say no. However, the less you deprive me of, the less I deprive you of. I'm a big sharing person, unless it's not even. This is, okay, so I don't know if he thought like this was going to let him like sneak by, but like I think anybody here who has ever been, I don't know, like 15 can like understand exactly what he's trying to say here. He's like, I'm going to get you like connected and I'm going to get you. I can have you like do certain things or go places you want to because I have clout. I, I know some people and I'm and I and I go to speeches and everything. And uh, I want your asshole. Hey, one, two redacted this man. Yeah. He, he could deserve a good a good little redacting, maybe a little bit as a taste, uh, as, as a treat, you know, as it is, as it goes. 
Very, con very con convincing rule too. Now face the wall, good sir. <laughs> Never, ever lie. Disappoint and enrage the other person with a true opinion or thought before lying to them. Lying breaks what this could be. Four, be mindful of each other's reputation. Never do anything that would make my network question me. Bringing you around and I'll never do anything that would make your family go, what the fuck? Huh? Is, is this like, is it, this is like, <laughs> I mean, let me know if I'm reading this incorrectly, but what this seems like is it's, it's reading as, uh, let me be a pedophile and I won't like out you to your family. This is a threat. Oh, th this is like a huge threat. Like conditional. I won't, I won't like kick you out and disconnect you and like show you and then send your mom pictures of your dick that you sent me as a minor to to own you, I guess. Couple more screenshots. At this rate, you'll be sharing my entire net. I'll be sharing my entire network with you. Are you on Twitter? Yeah, I have Twitter. What? And then there's this. And how we got there. You don't even. It's 2018. You don't even send me videos anymore. No good, no good jack off material. Just so you know, this is after. This is after. He says, I'm 15, by the way. This meme is very real. You're tr true, Marjorie, but hold on. We'll be talking about you in just a moment here. So you, you, you hold, you hold your horses, Marjorie. You're, you're coming up, okay? Don't get too uppity now. You're coming up. This is after he knew that he was 15. And so if you're wondering what type of pictures or videos they were sending to each other, that there it is. No good jack off material. Don't even want, uh, don't even want to be a, a, my, don't even want to be my side piece, but I understand. They said something face for something. I wonder if you need to come hang out. So I wonder if you need to come out, come hang out for a week in Texas internship. Them like posting together with a dog. Where uh, when are you coming to Texas? He's definitely trying to get to this guy. Hey, photos to your camera roll. This is 2017. Yeah, so this conversation that was had, this was in 2017. And then obviously that was like, and this is in November 2018. And so this is, well, like in, well, this is in 20, like over the year of 2018. So this is like here is um, them, him definitely knowing because in this, this is the conversation where they, uh, he established that he's 15. So, so yeah, it, it was a year after he learned that he was 15 that they kept talking. Rolling with me? Mostly. I have the an entourage. Depends. This is back in time in 2017. I mean, haha, -ha, depends if, uh, if it's me babys babysitting you during the day, then no, I don't, I don't have kids. This is, so as, as he's talking about, like, the age of this person that he knows the age of now. He's now talking about how he's now just referring to him as like a kid and babysitting him and how he doesn't like doesn't want kids. I guess not like that, I guess. If it's something more inter Oh, oh, I should have kept reading, but I also wish I didn't. If it's me babysitting you during the day, then no, I don't have kids. If it's something more entertaining, then maybe. All depends on what we're up to. No matter what. I'll let you meet Milo. Do not let him meet Milo. Don't do not let him meet you either. <laughs> There's probably five people I'll intro um I'll introduce to him, but you'll be my arm candy. The one with me always in VIP in and out. That was to be determined by the boy who plays his cards the most correct. Always have options. So he he's such a douche. He's like trying to He's like trying to be like a, he's like a pedo pickup artist. He's like trying to take the, th the things that he learned from like, holy crap. You know how pickup artists try to compare women to children, but then try to like uh, talk to like tell guys to use these certain things as like mind control. He was like, if women are just children, why don't I just cut out the middleman and just, and then just go for kids straight up. And so he just did like, this is, this is just insanity. This is sick. This is sick. My arm candy, bro. They all talk like they all talk like if like Great Gatsby met the guy who met the girl that he was like chasing the entire time. 15 year old arm candy. Arm candy, bro. Like 
but he's he's not old he's not anywhere near like old enough to be arm candy bro i'm sorry not even finger candy it, it, that would be way closer to like a like a baby bottle pop or something but like nah needs more time in the oven at least like three to four more to five more years honestly and you need a couple and you need some time like in the slammer like after hearing all of this um arm candy better than babysitting i'm not saying i'm opposed to to whole time stuff just uh, just don't want it to be boring some people will call me a bit gullible good idea meant to ask my little security detail so this is when he posted the alcohol this is back in 2017 two alcoholic drinks the the child responded with a martini cheers minus saving all the alcohol offers uh yeah haha true if if you are wasted, it didn't happen. Deal? Haha, <laughs> my man. I've learned well, maybe too well. You might excel at this. Hope so. Are the police coming after him? Are the police coming after him? Because they, they should be after him, like, at this moment in time. They should be, like, at his door. Check this man's... Yeah, the police confiscate this man's hard drive immediately. Minus saving all the alcohol offers. True, if you're wasted, it didn't happen. Deal? That's just sick. Okay. Well, thank you. Those are some of the screenshots. This was like a little video that somebody put together of, of like some other, like some more of the screenshots that they had. I'm talking about all, all the stuff that we just read, but yeah, it's just like, it is, it is just, it is pretty bad. FBI, FBI, open up. Anyways, what did he say about this? When I have flirted or have others flirted with me, I've flexed my credentials or dropped p cheesy pickup lines. Other times I've been careless and should have qualified those coming up to me's identities during flirtatious banter. No, you did. Well, my bad. Sorry. You didn't, he didn't ask, but he was like, he didn't ask, but he was told, uh, well, as far as I know, he didn't ask, but like, let's, uh, let's even, let's be, I guess, a little charitable. Let's say he did ask, but it wasn't saved. He he found out that he was 15 and liked it. So I'm sorry. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. Uh, he didn't respond to, to questions. Rumors about Alexander's alleged sexual behavior towards younger men have been circulated in conservative online spaces since at least 2015, two years prior to the conversation that we just read. But they have reached a new level in, in late last month. After Milo Yiannopoulos, a, the conservative provocateur and one-time ally, turned, uh, turned on Alexander after Alexander and Fuentes pushed him out of the potentially lucrative position in West's uh, presidential campaign. So this is how, this is how Milo left. Uh, th this is how Milo left the Kanye Trent campaign. The other people who were like near him thought that he was like too controversial to be around, so they pushed him out, right? And so. And so he's he said, basically, I mean, we've talked about this before. Remember us having like the conversation about like Milo being on Telegram and talking about how like nobody in the Dem in the Republican establishment ever stood up for him or anything. They never like cared about him. They threw him away the second like he stopped becoming political, politically advantageous, which it shocks me to think that anybody there that he thought anybody there literally cared about him. But anyways, I guess. He said he was going to go full scorched earth policy on literally everyone, Trump included, everyone included. And he's been colluding behind the scenes for a while to like make people look bad. And apparently he's been sitting on a massive treasure trove of of like insane, incriminating and damning evidence behind like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, conservative people. And are just sitting on just sitting on the trove and until like they cross him. So he can just dump it and then ruin their entire lives and ruin their careers if they ever like cross him again. I guess if I was like, if I was a, a child abusing Republican, I guess I would be pretty scared of him. Thankfully, I'm not in that position, so I can just watch from afar and see what happens. But I do think it is incredible to think that Milo and Ali Alexander were the ones who thought that he was too controversial to keep in the movement. He started releasing video interviews and other evidence meant to prove that Alexander sexually positioned both adult men in their 20s and at least two teenagers. Yiannopoulos, whose own career as a far-right pundit imploded in 2017 after he had, you know, pretty bad things to say once again about children. It seems like they have a ho horrible track record when it comes to that type of stuff. 
It seems. It seems. We read and we read some of this stuff already. It just goes over some of the um the the things that uh we we said already. Not the <laughs> pedocon theory. You think a uh, pedocon theory is uh is starting to uh, make a lot more sense? Let Milo cook for this one instance only. Can Milo be like our Suicide Squad? <laughs> Can Milo be like our one man Suicide Squad type thing? Like we like we keep him in Arkham Asylum in like the lowest depths of like Tartarus. But then like when we need it, when we need a job to get done and like nobody else can do it, he's like on, we put the like explosive collar on him and we let him out and we, and we tell him he's, do, he's do, due for one job and he'll get 10 years off of his sentence. Something like that. He's just, he's, <laughs> he does this one thing. Like there's two, there, there's two conservatives who we like, who are part of this. Oh my gosh. We are, we already do have a suicide squad. Holy shit. It's Yiannopoulos and Christian Walker. Holy crap. I mean, there's just two of them, but like all you need is two for a squad, right? All you need is two for a team. They're both gay and they both hate the right <laughs> and the way that they were treated. And so they've gone full scorched earth. Holy shit. This is crazy. They, they have a team. Um, we're putting together a team. <laughs> Oh, we're putting together a team. I do think that Christian Walker is at least a better person than Milo, but like, does Nick count? Nah, Nick doesn't count. Nah, Nick doesn't count. Nick's been sitting on the, well, actually, I don't want to like rush ahead too far, but Nick's, Nick uh, does, does not count. Nick does not typically do this type of stuff. Other screenshots show Dukan sending Alexander a picture, which was redacted in the version of the screenshot re reviewed by the Daily Beast. Oh, probably for the best. Responded with face, face with heart emojis, more stuff going on. There's some other screenshots that were not shown. And I think this is the part where they talk about some of the screenshots that we're, that we're not able to see. Other screenshots show Dukan sending Alexander multiple pictures, which was redacted in the version that we saw um, with he, he responded. Everything is secret in private. We are family. Bro, it's not oh no stepbrothers. Also, but if you say you're allowed to say no, but then you put like a stipulation on it, that's like, um, if you deprive me of, you can say no, but like, I'll, you'll, you'll be punished for it. That, that's not actually the, having the ability to say no. This is, this is what we call coercive action. <laughs> um, and could also be not, on top of statutory, it could also be like just normal rape as well. If you try and do something like this to people. So, uh, don't, that's my, it's my hard hitting advice for today. Don't do it. Boundaries are cool. You can say no, I guess, but I'll punish you for it. Dukan, now 21, has since become relatively high profile member of Fuentes's ra wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. This poor boy was groomed since he was fucking like 15 or 14. Maybe this poor kid. Holy shit. Now 21 has become a relatively high profile figure within Fuentes' racist America First movement, going by the name Smiley. On Spencer's podcast, Duquesne was said to said he believed Fuentes knew about the rumors, knew the rumors about Alexander, allegedly soliciting nude photos. I think Nick is 100 percent aware, Duquesne said on a podcast. Let last Thursday, Duquesne posted a statement on Twitter about his communications with, Ale with Alexander. When I was uh, 15, I was naive and desperate. I thought I had no choice but to cooperate with inappropriate and humiliating requests if I, if I wanted to make it into politics. I figured that that was just the nature of the game. This is something that happened as well with the Lincoln Project as well. John Harver, is that his name? Let me know if I, I got that right. John Harver was also uh, who was working with, I think one of the founders or was working like really deeply with the Lincoln project was, you know, found out to be like soliciting nudes and like sexual favors and requests from the young boys that who, who he would like scoop up at like Republican conventions and at like Republican meetups and stuff like that. And like young Republican meetups and try to and try to get close to them, groom them and then ask them for like pictures and sexual favors and stuff like that which is just crazy. So it's just, it, it's in all parts of the, uh, of their like community from like the never Trumpers to the, to the maggots. So there is no escaping it, honestly. Now stick on that Fuentes bit. We'll be, we'll be back. We're going to be holding this and we'll be back, but we're going to go down really quickly. Okay. 
Alexander started messaging 17-year-old Lance Johnson in the summer of 2019, according to Johnson. Uh, the floppy-haired teen is a rising star in the TikTok and conservative TikTok communities, amassing 140,000 followers under the nickname Lance Videos. Johnson and Alexander started exchanging messages about politics. Johnson uh, claims that a friend warned him early into their communications that Alexander has a history of asking for sexually explicit photos. My friend at the time uh, had told me that he had heard some weird rumors about him. Johnson told the Daily Beast. At first, I was kind. I was kind of like, I don't know. I was 17. I just had I just gotten into politics. Alexander moved oddly quickly towards discussing sex with a teenager. That's, yeah, it seems like he knows what he wants. Yeah, Th this is a bona fide predator right here. This is, he has many victims, it seems. In what Johnson claims was a night of the White House social media summit where Trump feted Alexander and other conservative victims of online censorship. The 34-year-old Alexander used the eggplant emoji to ask the teenager for pictures of his penis. Show me your eggplant emoji, he wrote. What, what's that, Johnson said. OMG, dick, Alexander wrote back, according to the pictures. Johnson says he refused and quickly blocked Alexander. Johnson took a screenshot of the exchange, uh, but he was fearful of the rising star issue more broadly on the far right. Holy shit, he was doing this while like at a meeting with Donald Trump. He was literally asking a child for like sexually explicit pictures like, with, like at a meeting with Donald Trump. That's just, that's it. That's insane. Holy shit. That's insane. He was like, bro, Trump, this Trump guy is boring as fuck. Can you lighten up my night? Still a friend, a friend of Johnson publicized the screenshots, which screenshots, which began circulating conservative circles. Alexander took a video, a live streaming app to defend himself. You can make up any conversation you want uh, with someone who's 17. Alexander said. Eggplant emoji screenshot gained new uh, circulation as far right circles in 2022. Um, so this is a while ago, okay? This this was a while ago. He's he's been like they've been known that he's like insane, but they kind of kept him around. As Alexander and Fuentes achieved prominence among a member of West Entourage, that when uh, Johnson's claims Fuentes asked him to say in a text message to Alexander that the screenshot had been doctored and apologized, presumably that text message could then itself be screenshotted and used to discredit Johnson. Nick personally asked me to apologize to Ali for, sup uh, for supposedly faking the messages. So <laughs> let's, we're going to be, we're going to be holding on this one as well. All right, Let, let's hold on this one as well. And I want to hop to something that is very interesting. Okay, so let's, let, let's hop really quick to outside of all of this, Let's talk about Marjorie. This is a disgusting tech, textbook predation of young boys, and Nick Fuentes was in on it. Hashtag Nick knew. In exchange for uh, recanting his accusation, Nick Fuentes and Ali Alexander offered him a job in politics, which is straight up like crazy ass Weinstein shit. Like this is the type of stuff that he would like say about like the Jewish elite who do this, that, and the third and who are so degenerate. But then he's like literally doing that exact same thing. He's literally pulling a, uh, like a Hollywood style, like abuse cover up uh, for his own politics because he doesn't want to. And then both of them teamed up to kick out Milo. Like Milo is pretty bad, I gotta say, but like uh, Milo's crimes. Well, actually, I don't know, man. I was going to say hashtag FBI. True. I was going to say Milo's crimes are not as bad, but like Milo was like advocating for what like Ali Alexander is like doing. So I can't necessarily say they're worse. I mean, technically he didn't do it himself. He did say that it could be beneficial though, which is like, like, can we just like put all of them in the bottom of the ocean? I've come, I've come to an idea. All of them in the bottom of the ocean. How about that instead? Thoughts, opinions. I think I think this could definitely work. And I think this could definitely work. Anyways. <laughs> uh, move, moving on. Uh, Nick had a res whoops, sorry. Whoops. 
moving on, I would like to show you that Nick had a response um, to the to the Ali situation to the Ali um, situation and to Marjorie. This you? It, it is a pretty bad this you. Okay, I, I I gotta be honest. So like, not only is there is there a this type of this you with him literally right there, there's also a this type of this you. So avoid the disinformation, avoid the division. We are here to continue pressing forward. Yeah, Congresswoman Marjorie uh, Green, my favorite. She's coming in, a friend of mine. She's coming in. She'll uh, be whatever. Ah, uh, yes. A friend of mine. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Uh, my boy does get around. It is true. This is interesting. It is quite interesting, I must say. But Nick was not happy about what Marjorie said, calling him out. So Nick decided to go on to his show and then say this. You know what, Marjorie, you stupid bitch. It's on sight. I declare war on Marjorie Taylor Greene. Metaphorically, so not personally. You stupid fucking bitch. You're ugly. You wear no. highlights in your hair. No. And you're fucking stupid. And we <laughs> hate you. Yo, get this. You see her tweet? Check, yo, watch this. She retweeted an article from Daily Beast trying to smear me. How low can this woman go? She's Wait, best man, am I right? a pedophile Jew, Milo Yiannopoulos, who's living in her campaign house with his black husband. No. <laughs> And now apparently he's writing her tweets. So you know what? I was going to drop it. I was going to let it go. But now it's on site. It's I'm on site. To Northwest Georgia. We're buying ads. We're putting up a website. Bro's going to be rolling around like Atlanta. Bro's going to be rolling around North Atlanta, hanging out the <laughs> hanging out the sedan with the with this the blinky. Very real. Oh, he's going to be doing drive bys on Marjorie's uh, like campaign headquarters. It's so over, dude. Holy, holy crap. Just pure racism and anti-Semitism. He is pedophile boy with his black husband who writes her tweets. I will say. Forgetting about like the the black husband stuff, I don't really care. But the pedophile stuff, I do not like. And um, it is true that even after all of this stuff that Milo did, she still willingly, knowingly brought this man onto her campaign and is now actually working under her as an intern, I think, or like she he may be like a full part of the team at the moment and like helping her write tweets. When she's like busy, I don't know, like cheating on her ex-husband <laughs> or dreaming about cheating on her ex-husband, I guess. Um, something along those lines. It's just it's just crazy. Here what the outcome is. Every voter in Northwest Georgia is going to know this woman hired a pedophile Jew named Milo. We're Damn. putting on on the ad. We're putting it on the website. We're putting it on the billboard. It's on site. Marjorie Green, number one enemy of the America First movement. You heard Jeez, it. Jeez, it's so over. She should have no right to come at me. And she doesn't honestly, have the right. I may even consider a lawsuit for her to Ooh. insinuate that I'm like covering up for a pedophile. I mean, that's just straight up defamation. So I am considering a lawsuit and I'm talking to people to see if I could put some money together for that because I know a lot of people had put some money up to see this uh, wench. <laughs> Not the wench, dude. Holy. They were having so much fun together. She was talking at AF Pack. They were having a great time. She defended him with her short ass near those uh, with those um, uh, reporters who were like, you know, he's literally a Nazi. And, sh and then she was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I got to get out of here. You know, it's just like, what, what you know, what, what are you going to do? It was, it was going so well, and now it's so over. <laughs> it is so over. Holy. Well, the, the, another bridge burned. Hate to see it.
Uh, gonna blast. But Nick isn't necessarily... <laughs> Nick, Nick isn't really, like, absolved of, you know, uh, anything bad happening either. He's not like he's the good guy here. I gotta tell you that much. He's definitely not the good guy here. And it seems like his relationship with Ali, whatever that may be, is not as clean and his nose is not as clean as a lot of these issues as he may want you to believe. Which, you know, surprising. I know the Nazi may be lying to you about his involvement with the pedophile. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you may be thinking to yourself, Shark, say it ain't so. Nick is my favorite Hispanic Nazi. And I will, and I will tell you, I'm sorry, but it seems like it is so, in my opinion. He, he could have possibly have been protecting Ali. This entire time, Ali Alexander, this entire time, for his own clout. And he just did not care that much about kids that were possibly being abused and groomed in his movement. Now, Milo has some screenshots. Milo has some screenshots, and Milo released some screenshots recently uh, about the situation between him, Ali, and Nick. So they did some talking. They had a little conversation here. And this is uh, on the left is Milo. On the right is Nick. How many of your fans does he molest? One to five, six to 10, 11 to 20. I don't know. I didn't see him buy a ticket. I think after 50, we're probably going to cut him off. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's so these guys. Uh, they're so funny. Oh, man. Family values, by the way. Jokes aside, yeah, it's an issue. <laughs> ah, the pedophile guy who we all know was like grooming and, had, and trying to have sex with children and, you know, keeping a large amount of the photos of underage uh, people in sexually compromised positions is like, oh, it's like, ah, we just don't know how to bring it up. It's just like, yeah, it's just an issue, you know, it just, he's, why are they talking about him? Like he's the guy who like never puts the toilet down in the, uh, in like the, in like the, the company, like employee bathroom. They're, they're like, they're like talking about him as the guy who like vapes too much, like while on the shift, you know, they're, they're like talking about him. Like he just, he doesn't always come in with deodorant on and they have to like have a talk with him because he's stinking up like the back, the, 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 the back of the room. Oh, there he goes. Assaulting another kid. Crazy. Jokes aside, it's an issue. I'll stand down. I'm just saying, no, do not stand down. None of you people care about the well-being of children. I'll stand down. I'm just saying he wants to come to AFPAC to blow 17-year-olds rant over. You're right. You're right. Here's the thing. And you may be wondering to yourself, why does Nick actually not care about this that much? There are two reasons. One, Ali is powerful. And two, Nick wants to or is okay with having sex with 15 and 16 year olds. He just doesn't think it's a good look. Merrick, you're, you're in here, right? If, if you're still in here, ma'am. I know Merrick specifically had like an interaction with Nick Fuentes and his fans when Nick wanted to meet this TikToker who was 16. 15 or 16, like just turned 16 or like, like late 15s at the time, something along those lines. He was going to, he had like the opportunity to meet this late TikToker, this, this like really young TikToker. And he went on his stream and he talked about how, like how based it would be to be able to like, you know, uh, like make her his like Nazi queen or something. And people brought up how like kind of weird it is that like, you're talking about this when it comes to like a 16 year old or like a 15 year old, something along those lines. And everybody there got like really mad at Merrick because she was like, age of consent is important. And they were like, age of, you, you would let the government tell you who's really an adult. What are you, a sheep? And I was just like, this is just, this is crazy. Th th this is insane. But this was like a, a good little while ago. I think this is back when he still had like a private Twitter account. Here, one moment. Let me see. I, I think I found the clip, maybe. Hey, too. The whole age of consent thing is really a feminist social construct. I'll just put that out there. You can take it back. It's okay. You, I mean, you put it out there, but you, you, can, you can definitely just take it 
take it right on back, put it in your pocket, and leave. And don't come back. You don't, don't, don't come back. Don't do it. Just don't. Don't. Not at all. Don't do it. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's definitely something. Because what are we really talking about here? Why are people so upset if somebody is 17 rather than 18? Well, that's because in the state of Florida, the age of consent is 18. It just so happens that the age of consent in Illinois is 17. And in other states, it's 16. And it varies from country to country. Nice one. In Florida, then it is the worst thing possible that you're, you know, dating somebody that's a year younger, right? End of the world. I will say that, you know. Thank you, Twitter. Very cool. You know, Incredibly interesting, Twitter. Thank you so much. You're so good at your job. The whole age of consent too. The whole age of consent thing. I will say that, you know, let's think about what's really going on here. Age of consent means the age at which an adult can consent. Do we really believe that you have to be 18 years old in order to consent to sex? Otherwise, it's rape. Are we really supposed to believe that people, adults, grown adults who are past the point of puberty engage in a relationship and that becomes a rape? Adult. And by his, and by his definition of adult, he means past the point of puberty. All right. People can go through puberty at like nine. But, you know. To me, what I think Age of Consent is about is really, and I've said this before on the show, it's not a new take. I think what it's really about is artificially increasing the sexual marketplace value of older women. I think that's really what it's about. So, yeah, if you're wondering why he's like, you know, he why he's why he doesn't really care that much about a seven about like a 33 35 year old man going around and looking for sexual favors with with like 16 15 16 17 year olds allegedly in my opinion that is one reason that is one possible reason he also said something along these lines i'm a political figure and i want to organize a massive movement politically to take over the country and that involves a great deal of associations. And sometimes they're not all good. It's as simple as that. If you have a problem with that, well, you try to build something. That's what I would say. Our countries and movements and things are going to be ground to pieces because of bad faith attacks over sexual impropriety. If we're talking about rape and murder and things like that, you know, okay. But when we're talking about, we're talking about flirting, give me a fucking break. This is him on the Ali Alexander situation, okay? So I would just like to, can we like juxtapose the feelings that he had originally when it came to what Marjorie said with how he actually feels about it, like on his stream? It's just, it feels, it's just two different worlds, right? The, I can't believe you said that, I didn't do anything wrong, you're pedophile, gay Jew. Um, to, yeah, a little bit of flirting with, like, a 15-year-old. Yeah, is that really an issue? Honestly. Yeah, and, you, and I know that's not a good look. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, pedophilia isn't the best look. It, to tell you the truth. That that's going to be, that's, they think that's a silver bullet. Well, but this guy flirted with people who were 15. Yeah, and that's gross. You know, that's fucking gross. I think anybody would say it's gross. It's gross because it's gay. It's gross because it goes against the age. But uh, this is some great moral condemnation. Yeah, okay, fucking guy that tells everybody he converted, he's still married. Okay, guy that's talking about going to Hollywood sex parties and making jokes about sucking priest dicks. Give me a fucking break. I thought about a lot. <sighs> uh, ah, trying to like have sex with a 15 year old. Ah, I guess it's like pff, an issue, I guess, if you really want it to be. If you want to be like, if you want to be like that. Every, every, don't you think in this like crazy topsy turvy world everybody's so sensitive? Uh, kids these days wouldn't survive fifteen minutes in a instant messaging chat room with a pedophile like we did, like my generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, kids these days are so weak. Bro's literally like, oh, you're scared of pedophiles. Grow up. Uh, I want to flag something, re Ali, re Ali Alexander, in case he uh, this hasn't reached you. I have three boys. 
who are going on a record. Whoop, wait one second. I have three boys who are going on record to say Ali groomed and or molested them. Oh, it got physical when they were under the age, promising careers and opportunities, etc. It's an open secret in, in the gay in gay right wing circles. Those exist. And I will be uh, top and I will be toppling. Sorry, and I'll be toppling out soon. My instincts tell me the Christianity stuff is insecure and desperate. Oh boy, okay. Thanks for the heads up. I'm gonna it's gonna be not good for me. Uh, but if he's raping kids, he shouldn't be in politics. Um, typical grooming stuff. He will come out will come out this year, whether I release it or not. Then the circle of Ali uh, then the circle of Ali casualties who are in touch with one and another and uh, actively seeking to get their stories out. Climbing into bed with this with sixteen and seventeen year olds. Bruh was his response. <laughs> True. Assaulting children do indeed be what I would call a bra moment. Yesterday he knows one or two people. Everyone does. That's that's why I was surprised because everyone who l loves you knows about Ali. The worst I've heard is he asked for a couple guys for dick pics. It goes way further, of course. Again, that's what I've heard directly from a direct source. But if you already know he's asking young boys for dick pics, I don't get the continued endorsement. You will never find a living soul who can say the same about me. This may be Milo. This I think this I think this is Milo. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, this is Milo talking right now. He, on the other hand, is all over pervy young boys he meets. Is, is, sorry, is all over every young boy he meets. Not uh not to go into too much detail, but I liked men not boys in my in in that phase of my life to be honest i just like the, to be honest i just like the guy personally and he has been loyal to me for a long time like even when i was the most radioactive why do you keep supporting a literal pedophile you know is a pedophile well he likes me he's a good boy which i know um which is how i know it's bs it's uh, it's when it's said about me, he's using you partly for influence and partly for access to young boys. Of course, I mean, that's true. Nick does Nick's audience and his, you know, community are filled with a bunch of pretty young boys who are like 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17, you know, like 18 year olds and early 20 year olds are in there as well. But like you cannot deny that a large portion of his audience are young guys young boys and not even men really literally boys um we've seen it before you guys have seen it before you've seen really young basically child nick fuentes fans just like kind of rolling around like they just popped out of the womb thinking that they're the the new ubermensch when they've barely passed you know seventh grade or you know eighth grade it's it's really it's really sad of course he's loyal when you went to sleep at Stop the Steel rallies, he was crawling into bed with your fans. Okay, well, I never heard anything like that. Mm-hmm. You're the one, you're one of his pipelines to young victims, Nick. That's why I'm being a dick to you about it. Okay, well, that's different. You should have led with that. I got a blank showing yay screenshots of Ali asking 16-year-old for dick pics, and you're saying I like him. There's an edited message here. Uh, you will damage your credibility vouching for wretched people. What is, are we talking? I'll just, I'll just like, have, you ever, have you ever thought about how one of your associates asking for child porn could possibly, you know, ruin how much money you make this year? Just, bro. Is, is this, I'm not sure if this is Milo actually, like, that's what he really cares about, or if he's just trying to appeal to something that he think would get, like, Nick to listen, but, like, I said in text that if rumors are true, then I will be a major problem. So if that's the case, yeah, I won't vouch for him. Dude, he posted cum jokes about a 12 year old um, who had ice cream around his mouth. Gross. Disgusting. That's how much you need to stop uh, defending him. Nothing more than that. <laughs> and then he and before he said he defended him and uh, he had no he said he had no clue what was going on behind the scenes. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's let's skip forward like a tiny bit and I got to keep this off screen because like it's obviously like his his shit here. I got to I have to keep this off screen because of his chat. 
But the claim is not he flirted with somebody because he, he's very open that he was bisexual at one point. Um, as far as I know, that's no longer the case, or at least not acting on it. But then there's this claim that he's an abuser and all, all this stuff. And you know what? I've heard for years from his adversaries who already don't like him. Well, it's just around the corner. Just around the corner, there's going to be a report. Just around the corner. I say, well, can you show me the evidence now? They say no. I'm like, okay. So the day that anything, the day the charges are filed, the day that anything conclusive comes out of there, then, then I will have something to say about it. But until that point, you got some screenshots, some flirting that's going on. Now, it's not like, uh, you know, I don't find that savory at all. But uh, what people are making it out to be is a little ridiculous. So that's, so that's him on talking about, like, I, I, I mean, like they said he was just flirting or whatever. When Milo in DMs, Milo informed him that he's meeting up with dudes or like meeting up with like young boys in his circles that he brings there. Like he's literally bringing kids like he's like leading my mice into a mouse trap, like knowingly. And now and he was just and now he's like on stage like, ah, I mean, like who, who possibly knows? In my opinion, in my opinion, it seems like Nick knew that this guy was predatory. Looking at Nick's views on the age of consent, I don't think he thought it was as bad as a lot of people really make it out to be. And so, in my opinion, it seems like he didn't think that this was something worth dropping him for because in his mind, in my opinion, after viewing some of his opinions on the age of consent, I personally believe that he thinks that a 35-year-old and a 16 and 15-year-old in a sexual relationship is nowhere near as bad as society wants to make you believe because at that age, at least when it comes to women, he believes, or girls, he believes that they are adult enough, sexually mature enough to do something like bear children or be in a relationship. And so that would extend to boys as well. They're old enough to form those type of relationships and the age of consent should not stop those types of relationships. And so he, so he really has a problem with it when it's like in his face and he no longer and, and like in his face and he no longer can actually dodge it because now it's simply a bad look. And, and, and that's just kind of it. Yo, Merrick, are you still here? I was, um, I, I was, I, I mentioned you early, earlier. Hey, Medic mention. I mentioned you earlier because you had this. You had an interaction with uh, Fuentes fans not too long ago. Is that correct? I think Ropers are also to hovering around my account. Oh, you may not remember the. You may not. You may not remember the uh, the interaction specifically. Oh, Sag. Anyways, well, if you remember, just let me know. But yeah, when they were spamming like eggs at you because they're like, "Look, you lost your eggs. You lost your eggs. You're not as fertile as these children that we want to have sex with." <laughs> A couple, a couple more things on, um, a couple more things on Nick's involvement, and then we can skedaddle and move on like a little bit. Most of the responses are valid, but it's also the intended reaction that was placed by a malicious actor. Then actions here are in uh, the action here are indefensible. By the same token, this is being weaponized. That's what makes the situation complex. Have you ever thought about how the pedophilia, how the correct pedophilia accusations are being used against the pedophile? This would be without a doubt the only scandal that is significant. Would you consider Ali a AF or a groper? Uh, it has nothing to do with me. This is previously undisclosed info from six years ago. Ali and I uh, collabed for STS. Do these guys hide? Nice one. He asked me to uh, give uh, him a little backup. He's the gatekeeper for this event, so I have to play ball, unfortunately. I didn't have, uh, I didn't like it, uh, but honestly, we have, we have to look at the bigger picture here. We will fall in line with the pedophile. <laughs> Listen, supporting pedophilia isn't my favorite th thing to do on a weekend, but like, we gotta talk to, we gotta talk to do. So, we gotta do, we gotta do what's gotta be done. We we just, you know, fifteen. I mean, who cares? 
this is, in my opinion, this is literally bringing his young, like, child audience into the arms of a predator. This, I mean, like, I don't know, in my opinion, if this is all true, Nick should definitely, like, say, face some real, like, genuine repercussions for this. I I'm talking, like, legal. But anyways, and they knew each other, knew each other a, a decent amount, right? And Nick was still, like I said, not happy. You know what? Marjorie, you stupid bitch. It's on sight. I declare war on Marjorie Taylor Greene. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. Now let's talk a little bit about this allegation that was levied against a friend of the stream, Nick. Nick personally asked me to apologize to Ali for supposedly faking these messages. But Johnston insisted the eggplant screenshot is legitimate. In exchange for uh, disowning the eggplant exchange, according to Johnston, Fuentes and Alexander offered him a job in politics. Basically, they wanted me to lie, apologize to Ali, and then they would, and then said they would try to get me a job, Johnston said. Fuentes denied Johnston's claims about it in an email with the Daily Beast. I never offered Lance uh, Johnson a job, nor did I urge him to disavow the screenshot, Nick said. In a post on the social media app Telegram, Fuentes claimed Johnson was using the screenshot to extort Alexander after giving him a job in the West campaign. Four years later, well, this seems this is more defending of the guy. You, you like what, what? What relevance does this have to anything? Even if it is true, I like he should. He, he's a pedo. <laughs> Four years later, Johnson thinks Alexander used his prominence in the MAGA movement for very creepy ends. No person like Ali should be anywhere near politics. And the vict and not our boy Ali decides to say the the real victim of this entire saga is me. He calls himself half black and half Arab. Oh man, pick a struggle, bro. And bisexual, pick a struggle, bro. And racist and homophobic. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> you gotta, you you gotta like settle down on one. You greedy, greedy, greedy! What in the world? You can't. What a what a little what a little floozy. But Fuentes, twenty four year old who marched at the white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, long history of racist, anti Semitic, and sexist remarks, has appeared frequently with Alexander, like this, uh, like the Stop the Steal rally. A text message review, review the, by the Daily Beast, Yiannopoulos warned Fuentes in the broad terms about his ally's reputation. He's coming to your events to have sex with underage boys. He told him, snap out of it. As the allegations mounted against Alexander over the weekend, Fuentes said he disavowed Alexander's actions and called them gross, but accused Yiannopoulos of claiming, of sitting, of sitting on the claims until he could use them to get revenge on his rivals of the West campaign, which is probably true. Actually, I know it's true. Th th this is true that he is doing this. And um, I, I think Milo also is definitely pretty, like pretty bad here. That being said, that being said, you all need to go to jail. <laughs> uh, and, and like, and Nick is, and Nick and Ali are definitely the worst ones here. If true, if this is true. Fuentes also blamed Ducan and Johnston, the, the two like boys who were like flirted with, for flirting with Alexander to advance their careers. Ducan and Lance were willing to go along with flirting with Ali uh, to various degrees without any protest because they thought it would advance their political careers. Their children? If you were flirting with an adult gay man because you think it's going to land you a job, you know, you know full well what you're what you're doing and it's gross sorry but even at 15 i would i would have never sent nudes to an adult gay man there's something wrong there it's just like like i i mean yeah i mean like children jail baiting I, I mean sure i guess like children like trying to have like trying to have sexual relations with like adults is pretty bad and like at the same time, like you're the like the adult in the situation is should be the adult in the situation. That's that's just that's just me, though. Fuentes added the real victim in this entire saga is me. 
and his self-pitying bows. He referred to himself as an incel. Oh no, dude, it's me. I'm just, I'm, I'm the incel guy. I'm the incel Nazi guy and no one likes me. Come on. It's just, sounds like everybody involved got what they wanted. Except me, the incel, who is now somehow being blamed for things I did. I, I had nothing to do with you. Okay, okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Let's see how well that holds up over time. This isn't the first time Fuentes' racist group has been bought, uh, dogged by alleg allegations of inappropriate sexual behavior regarding children. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I, I remember that um Latino Zoomer guy who had like 30 terabytes of CP on his uh on his computer and was about to shoot up a school. I forgot about that guy. I, how could I forget about that guy? His crimes were so egregious. I guess I guess it all just blended in. It wasn't literally 30, but it was like a lot of ter. It was like, I think, multiple terabytes. Um. In August, Fuentes' associate Alejandro Richard Velazquez Gomez was arrested and charged with possession of CP. Uh, Velazquez, who went by a Latino Zoomer online, has been photographed with Fuentes. Also faces charges of allegedly threatening a con. Oh my bad, not a school. A he he threatened CPAC. He was going to shoot up CPAC in Florida, as far as I remember. And since uh since uh, Nick isn't allowed at CPAC, he went to to shoot up something else. Let me see. How much was it? Because I knew it was like a, a crazy amount. I think, my bad. The Texas? No, that no, was the Florida one. Sorry. He's, he wrote in a post, I will have revenge against all humanity and end my suffering. It's one of those things where they put like a, a you need to subscribe. No, heck off, Kami. I don't want to subscribe. Were there so many Latino Nazis? They're short. Listen, they get sucked in. The boys get sucked in. What can I say? I feel bad for them. I hope they I hope they recover soon. Get well soon, Bessie. Yeah, I can't. It just I, I can't get on the original one that was uh, the original article anymore because it's, you know, like I said, it's uh they want you to pay two dollars to read it now for like no reason. Man, I can't find it. I'm so sick. What do we need <laughs> paywalling freaking articles is sick, bro. It this should be the real crime. He's charged with threatening interstate communications and possession of CP. Nice one. Special complaint. Oh, he's still in jail. Yeah, I can't find it. Use the archive site. Maybe. Yeah, I could possibly. Yeah, I could possibly do that. And we just found it. Oh no, my bad. It was on his phone. It was a lot, but it was on his phone. It wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't on his computer. Anyways, thank you, Latino Zoomer. I hope you rot in jail. The accusations against Alexander and his apology have already alienated several far-right figures, like like Goyne, far-right provocateur known as Based, Baked Alaska, who was recently released from prison. <laughs> working with Ali in any capacity, um, that he should not, that he would not be working with Ali in any capacity. So Ali admitted to sending inappropriate messages, uh, messages and flirting with young boys. Um, said Bryson Gray, disgusting. Despite his Friday night apology, Ali struck more, a, a more defiant tone hours later in a bizarre late night Telegram audio live stream from what appeared to be a karaoke bar uh, as an amateur performance of Billy Joel's You May Be Right played in the background. Alexander told an acquaintance that his life had become a reality show uh, revolving around one question, implode or not to implode. Oh, he is by. Asked by someone on live stream whether he wanted to perform in karaoke, he demurred. In the middle of the scandal, he said at the point, I cannot do karaoke. I'm in the middle of a scandal, and I'm going to survive. Survive literally? Sure. Possibly. It, it's definitely possible. Survive um, politically? Well, it's the far right, so maybe. <laughs> ah, I, can't, I, can't say, I can't say no. I mean, have you seen these people? Have, did you see how much it took for them... To even like start to come out against this guy, like at all? I mean, like what? What? What are we supposed to do? I mean, this guy has e ha even has ties to Elon Musk. I'm not even. I'm not even joking to you. Stops the steal organizer. Ali Alexander says Musk told him he bought tw Twitter's Save Civilization. I said a lot of people are going to like talk talk back to you, 
and say they agree with you and not understand what they're what you're saying. I said 100 percent. I sorry. I said I 1000 percent agree. And I've been saying this for several years. The sussy musky sussy musky hate to see it hate to really see it. Then he had a one on one conversation with Musk 90 days ago. Musk reinstated Alexander's feed. Today, Musk suspended that feed over allegations of pedophilic grooming. Many MAGA uh, are now saying Alexander proclivities are well known. Did Elon know? Do I think Elon knew? On this case, actually, I don't. I, I don't think Elon knew. But I do think Elon was finding out very quickly why a lot of the people who were banned were banned. So now Laura Loomer is fighting Marjorie and Marjorie is fighting Fuentes and Fuentes is fighting Marjorie and but also Fuentes is fighting his community because he doesn't want to he doesn't want to be like known as the guy who like sat on uh, the this Ali real. the Ali Alexander case when he knew what was going on as per Milo talking real. to him about it for some time and it being kind of like an open secret that he likes to kind of prey on younger guys. Um, and then like Milo at the end of the day is against all of them because he wants to see all of them fail because they like did him wrong once. And so he's obviously against everybody who's there. And it's just it's just a complete mess. I do want them to fight. And the people who committed crimes, I want for them to go to jail. I, I don't I don't know what more to say. They deserve it. Uh, they need to. Uh, this is a crime. This is no longer simply drama. None of this is drama, mind you. Uh, all of this is committing literal crimes on behalf of your own political organization. And I think that is sick, especially, especially this meme is very real when that has to do with children involved in your political movement. I cannot and, and, and will not sit here and say that, like, this is this is in any way, shape or form something that should just be shoo, just like pushed aside. They should he should like if this this is all true, absolutely should go to jail, does deserve it. This is sick, um, but it doesn't it doesn't surprise me that any of this stuff is really happening. It's just like a part of the job, I guess for them. It's abusing kids seems honestly as easy as breathing. So much for family values, huh? Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.